Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Laboratory Challenge, where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And today, my friends, we have the honor of working with one of the most stunning and beautiful of the cheetahs that I have ever seen on The Sims 4 Gallery. Look at this King Cheetah! Oh my gosh, I love, love, love the level of detail on this King Cheetah. And let me see if I can go ahead and pull up who it is actually from. It is actually from Crest. Okay, let's see. Crestovaca, Crestovaca. Uh, 2137. So I want you guys to be able to find out where to find so many of these amazing, amazing animals. I have apparently used a couple of their animals before in the past, but I was just searching about today and found them and fell in love. Highly recommend checking them out on the Sims 4 Gallery if you want to see a whole bunch of really amazing, realistic looking animals. I know a lot of you guys would totally be into that. And I have to say, the more I keep popping in here and looking around, the more I'm getting so many ideas for other amazing cross breeds that we could create in here. I'm just really, really, really excited about them. So we are using their beautiful King Cheetah, and then we are also pulling the adorable little Pomeranian. The really, really precious little Pomeranian that was actually created by, let me see if I can find them again. All right, was it Pug owned? I think it's one of Pug owned Pomeranians, and it's just so ridiculously cute. Look at this, look at this little one. But yes, so welcome friends. A cheetah and a Pomeranian were suggested a little bit ago, and I just couldn't get the idea of having a whole bunch of bouncing, flouncing, a little fluffy spotted puppies dancing all over the laboratory. And so here we are. So my friends, I hope you are ready to go ahead and put on your safety goggles and your lab coats today and help me out as we work with fantasy, the King Cheetah. And we work with Blue, the adorable little Pomeranian. And in case you guys didn't know what a King Cheetah is, they are actually a color variant of a cheetah. So the normal cheetahs, they're not a subspecies. They're not some sort of um, different species from cheetahs. But they're called King Cheetahs when they have this amazing line that goes down their back, sometimes several stripes. And it's just one of the very curious ways that cheetahs can actually come out in different colors. It's kind of like a recessive gene like if you guys are familiar with albinism or if you're familiar with melanism where you've got like your black jaguars or you have your albino tigers or cheat or like um lions it's kind of the same thing and it just looks so cool i just have fallen in love with this and we actually don't have any king cheetah in planet zoo but boy do i ever wish we did and i am kind of tempted now to try to add a king cheetah into our zoo crafting series so we're gonna have to think about that hmm but all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna start making mixing together these two genes. I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers here, for a very fluffy cheetah. That's what I'm going for. I want a little fluffy Pomeranian sized cheetah. We're gonna see if that's actually what we get. So all right, pulling up the random comments generator using some of your guys' comments from the last videos. We're gonna see who's, gonna, who's going to have some of these little crossbreed creations named after them. And the first one up is Oh my gosh, have we just achieved what I was going for with Maria? Maria, welcome, welcome. You don't have anything to suggest for the next round of our experiments, but I am so glad to see that you are enjoying a lion. Oh, a lion and a fox, I get it. You spoke to me in emoji. All right, lion and fox. I have written it down, my friend. And Maria, you are hopefully going to be the exact fluff ball of my dreams as a stubborn troublemaker who is friendly. Oh, how could you be mad at that face? Also, maybe be careful with pets because those teeth looked awful sharp. Oh, Maria, oh my gosh, did we just like hit it out of the ballpark on like the first mix of Petri dish pup? All right, let's try again, pulling up the... And then we have now got... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello to little vanilla. So this is actually going to be a vanilla. Welcome, oh, welcome to the family. And you are a hairy, independent, smart little pup whose eyes actually match your coat. Oh, it looks like they have a little bit of a shorter snout too. So look at those spots, different spots, kind of like one of the Dalmatian variants instead. Oh, that's gonna be really cool to see what that turns out to be when you grow up vanilla. Dun, 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 dun. Hang on, hang on, we're almost there. 
Natasha! Oh my gosh, you look nothing like I thought you would, Natasha, but you look so cool! So this is Natasha blowing me away with a completely unexpected design for sure. And Natasha, you actually recommend a Pine Martin and a Fishing Cat! Okay, that definitely gets points for originality because I don't know how many times I've seen people recommend a Pine Martin before. I'll have to see if I can find some of its genes on the gallery in the future. All right, also you cannot produce dairy or wool, my dear. However, you can be a very smart and playful, independent little Pomeranian cheetah mix. What would we call that? Like the Chapoms? <gasps> I love it! I love how that sounds! Chapom! All right, so Natasha, you are our latest Chapom. And we're gonna go ahead and see what the next one's going to be. The laboratory is really struggling with some of these, but we're gonna get there. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so, oh, hello! Hello, hello to little Lucinda! Lucinda, welcome, welcome! You look like you're gonna be extra fluffy. Very, very cute indeed. So, this is Lucinda. And Lucinda is a troublemaker who is a glutton and a very vocal. And Lucinda, you suggest pandas and a, a big cat. So what big cat would you guys try to crossbreed a panda with? Because I'm kind of thinking like cheetahs are pretty cool. Tigers might be cool to have stripes. They both kind of hang out in bamboo forest from time to time, the panda and the tiger. Um, maybe a cougar actually. We haven't done a lot of cougar mixes and I think that that could be a lot of fun. All right, let's pull up the next Petri dish pup and the next run comes to getting the genetics just right for the King Cheetah. All right, and this time, <gasps> so fluffy and spotted! This time we have a Jordan! Jordan, welcome! Oh my goodness! Jordan, congratulations on becoming one of our Petri dish puppies. You are actually going to be a jumpy, loyal, and playful little one. Oh, look at that little tail! And Jordan, you suggest a dingo and a fox. Very interesting mix there. Dingo being native to Australia and the fox not being native, but being an invasive species that causes a lot of problems, just like cats, mice, rabbits, dogs even, uh, for the native species of Australia. Hmm, you know, how, what, that, what is up with the fox population down there? That would be something that's definitely worth looking into. All right, I'm gonna struggle a little bit. There we go to pull up all of those jeans. But this is the, <gasps> the last of our little ones. And this is gonna be Mia. Mia, could you too also fulfill my dreams of having a very fluffy, spotty, like fluff ball of a cheetah? All right, Mia. You are going to be a sleuth who is independent and active. And Mia, you suggest mixing a leopard and a snake. I would think that that would be really ridiculously cool, especially for all of the patterning that you could get on both sides. But alas, I can only work with pretty much like four footed creatures in the laboratory. It is the constraints of the lab that we base everything mostly off of dog and cat genetics. But one day, a leopard and a snake can actually truly be crossbred in the new game that we have been trying out and poking at the edges of, let's build a zoo. And if you guys like the laboratory, you definitely need to check out the little bit of poking we've done to the demo of let's build a zoo, because it is going to be a game where you can crossbreed pretty much everything an adorable pixelated zoo tycoon. I am ridiculously excited about it. And that is actually a game where we could crossbreed truly a leopard and a snake. So we're going to have to look into that. But all right, so with all of that said, let's begin. We're gonna see, we kind of get to bookend it with one with Maria, and then the last one with Mia, who both have M names even, that is ridiculously adorable. And we're gonna see if either of them end up becoming the Pomeranian-sized fluff ball of a cheetah, King Cheetah, no less, that we're going for. Maria, you're up first. Come on, Maria. Oh! 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 oh. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Alright. <laughs> Maria, you are not Pomeranian sized, but look at your face. What? What is this? What is this? What have I done? Maria, your tail, your face, everything about you. You're glorious. You are what we love to see in the lab. Oh my word. Okay, guys. So we didn't get the Pomeranian sizing right on this genetic experiment, but we sure did get something amazing. Behold Maria, the Chapalm. Uh, more on the chi side than the palm, but I 
I really think she's amazing. She looks like the kind of animal I could see my Sims 4 super, super celebs uh, or really famous people walking around and being like, yes, it's a designer chapalm. Mm, indeed. So yeah, th they, this definitely looks like a dog that you could see with somebody who's like super wealthy and famous. Oh my gosh. All right, next up we have Vanilla. Vanilla, are you gonna be little or big? <gasps> Vanilla's gonna be big! And Vanilla actually has a tiny little face. Look at this. Oh, Vanilla, you, you look like a very friendly little one and you're actually quite smart. So I'm sure someone's gonna be able to train you to do something very interesting indeed. But look at that powerful body structure. I bet that Vanilla could really, really race. And then we've got Natasha, who ended up with some of the more unique and interesting coloring out of everybody here. <gasps> Ooh, and look at that face. Oh, Natasha. What a proud, proud face. It's like Natasha actually got basically all of the jaw that Maria did not. Wow, that's a huge contrast. You would never think they were from the same genetic stock. That is amazing. And then we've got Lucinda. Lucinda, little or big? Floppy! Lucinda is also quite large and also has a slightly smaller face. Lucinda, you legitimately look like a large Pomeranian for the most part. A little bit different in the facial structure, but we can take it. She also looks like she has the softest fur in the world. Oh my goodness. Like, that looks like a doggy that would be just really fun to be able to hug. And then we have Jordan who also ended up big. Oh my goodness, we didn't end up with any Pomeranian sizing on any of these guys. And Jordan, you're fluffy too. Look at your eyes and your ears. Oh, I love it. Jordan, you look so good. And then finally, we have got Mia. So this is the moment where we are going to find out, friends. The moment of truth. Will we end up with our Pomeranian-sized cheetahs who are very fluffy or not? Let's do this. Mia? <gasps> Mia! Mia did it, you guys! My dream? I don't know why I had this dream, but it was the dream that I stepped into the lab today with. My dream of Pomeranian-sized, fluffy king cheetahs has come true. Mia, thank you. Thank you for defying the odds that all of your other siblings had to race through as well. And wow, I mean, wow, what a variation. This was a good mix for defying the odds and being able to deliver to us the dream that we had when we stepped into the lab today. But all right, my friends, this is a great mix. I really am so happy that you guys suggested it because I don't think I would have thought about it on my own. Keep those suggestions coming in the comments down below. And of course, if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, including the Let's Build a Zoo adventures where we'll probably be crossbreeding leopards and snakes in the future, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. You never know where it might take you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.